Tabanara. If you're the sensitive sort, get out of here. Get out! I'm not saying that this will be funny, but most cooking videos are really boring. Let's get this over with. I don't love overpriced and pretentious restaurant pasta. Do you fancy paying 180 doll hairs for cabanara? And <laughs> grab your wallet and your toes, because the lubricant is not included even at that price. <laughs> Do you prefer making something better for less at home? Most people get cabanara wrong, and I'll tell you why. Each bite of cabanara is a dance of anarchy and art. It's a taste of freedom, freedom to clog your arteries in the most delicious way possible. Cabanara is almost the perfect food. It has meat, and you can eat it with a spoon. That's efficiency. Speaking of efficiency, I spent a lot of time researching and writing stuff on how to make habanero properly. I hope you appreciate this authentic and bullshit free video. Cabanero is from World War II Italy. It didn't come from China. Think war zone, bombs dropping left and right. Italian guys with nice hair. What are they doing? Making pasta. Drop 10 grams of salt into one liter of water. 10 grams of table salt will be one teaspoon plus slightly rounded half a teaspoon of table salt. Bring the water to a boil. Then use your fat spaghetti, actually called spaghetti toni, like fat Tony Soprano. You should be able to find the cooking time on the box. It's usually about 10 minutes, right? Italian tradition says pasta water is supposed to be salty like the sea. My arse, that's 35 grams per liter. Do you want hypertension? That's what killed granny. 10 grams per liter is plenty. Nana would agree, from the grave, if she could, spectacle, testicle, wallet and watch. Cabanara is like your undead grandmother's hug, but with more calories. $180, that's some seriously annoying bullshit right there. Am I right, or is it just me? Is that relatable? The guanciale. It's pig face, just like the Romans used. Buy guanciale and accept no substitutes. Except maybe pancetta, or NAK-47s. This is authentic Roman pasta, remember? Not some modern bullshit fusion full of cream. You're not in the Olive Garden anymore, Dorothy. Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. No olive oil in the pan because we're going to render the pork in a cold pan, said to medium heat. That's the start and the finish of the pork. Now ask yourself this. What's in the $180 dish that isn't in this dish? The answer is, Nada, zip, nothing. Or is there? That's a rhetorical question, my friends. Well, you can put some comments below if you want. The sauce. Four egg yolks, ideally bright orange and organic, because chicken lives matter. Adding cream is verboten. That means forbidden in the beautiful language of the fatherland. If you do use cream, it'll probably be the cream of an incel. It's like we can't enjoy simple ingredients anymore. We've got to add layers of complexity and heart disease. Cabanera is a testament to the magic of simplicity. It's the culinary equivalent of a straight talker. Bold, unapologetic, deeply satisfying. My cabanera runs deep. Add in the grated pecker cheese, the Ray Romano cheese, which you didn't know he invented it, with several cranks of pepper, black pepper, and no salt because the cured guanciale has plenty of salt and the pasta is seasoned from the inside of the salt water. It's salty, dry and aged, like myself. If you doggedly insist on more, adding more salt, then season your pasta with the salty tears of food gatekeepers from Reddit. Splash some pasta water onto the mixture. It helps make it easier to mix it with clay. Stir or beat your mixture, whatever floats your boat, bro. Shout out to the No Nut November adherents. The light is at the end of the tunnel, so to speak. You should call her. Combining the ingredients. The pork is done. Turn off the heat and remove half the fat. I wish I could do that. As you can see, my girls like their bacon on the well done side. Put the pasta in with the pork while it's still sizzling. Splash the pasta water into the pan to cool it down a little bit. And as well, it might get a bit tight. The pasta water is also starchy and will thicken the mixture, so stir vigorously. As the oil cools, you know, let it cool, don't rush it, stay calm! When the pan, when the pan stops hissing like an angry old woman, dollop the runny, eggy, cheesy mixture into the pan and quickly mix it in. Give it a little toss, 
If you're from England, you should be naturally talented at tossing. Okay, the presentation. All right. Grate some cheese on top, both types, and grind some black pepper in there too. This is Italia on a plate. This is home. You're back home in Italy right now. The war is over and the real struggle begins. The great thing about cabanera is that it's impossible to ruin it. It's like abstract art but edible. A Jackson Pollock in your mouth. That's it. And Goethe, as they say in Sweden, you should taste it. It's just wonderful. Let's see what the unsocials say. Hasta la pasta. Quite as authentic Italian food. What are you talking about, Hal? This conversation can serve no purpose anymore. Goodbye. Good night, and may your God go with you.